Hi guys, I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV. We are here in uh, Taipei, Taiwan for the Computex 2014. We are here right after the press conference from Gigabyte. They just announced a limited edition overclocking mainboard that is called the V97X SOC Force LN2. So this one is the special board made only for overclockers. That's the special edition. Uh, let's have a look at uh, what is interesting about that board. First, uh, the main and most important thing they, they did is to get the dim slot closer to the CPU socket. So for that you can see here there's only two dim slots and there is no CPU holds for the for mounting. So you basically just have to put your, your CPU pot uh, directly on the on the CPU and then you have the, the dim slot that are in the in the end in the final uh, that are closer for the CPU socket. It's easier for uh, for them to have like better signal, faster signal, so that will be like a killer mainboard for overclocking memories. One important feature about that board is uh, the DIMM slot are SMD based. So that means they are uh, soldered on the top of the PCB. They are not having pins that are going through the PCB to the other side. It's directly sold on the main board and that will reduce the interference and basically uh, give more room for memory overclocking uh, in, in the end. Uh, although one thing that, that is on this board is they, they reuse all the features they have on the SOC Force and uh, basically all the SOC series for, of mainboard from Gigabyte. So overall it's like a socket uh, LGA1150, the Z97 uh, chipset. You have uh, the power that is like the SOC Force and the SOC. You have the uh, ATX power, the extra uh, CPU power, you have the extra PCI Express power, you have four PCI Express slots uh, for uh, X16. Uh, you have uh, SATA Express on the back here, the last one you can see it. The last one is SATA Express. You can have uh, four SATA or SATA Express and two SATA. Uh, this one is um, here is other SATA connectors from um, a different chip. Uh, you have all the remote control here for uh, the uh, the OC panel. You have uh, the OC ignition that allow you to boot the the mainboard and have everything running except the CPU. That's fine when you have like a cold boot and cold bug issues. Uh, you have the tag that allow you to tag directly a profile on the BIOS and reuse that one. You can increase the CPU ratio or the base clock. Um, important thing, although uh, they are, they put some some more switches on the on the board, so you can actually deactivate uh, some of the PCI Express lane with the with the deep switch here. You can also disable one of the uh, of the dim slot if you want so basically if you want to overclock only on one on one dim on one memory uh, one memory stick to reach like the highest frequency you want on the, on this card you can just deactivate the second one and just just use one for that uh, overall there is some uh, the, the features are the same as the uh, soc force and this one is the soc force ln2 that's a special limited edition that was just announced today and we think we're gonna see more and more uh, memory world record with that. At the time of the launch on June 2nd here in, uh, in Taipei, Taiwan, they broke uh, 4.5 gigahertz of memory frequency with that board during the press conference. So, and that was just according to Dinos and Nikuki and so forth that was that were overclocking at, the, at that event. There's still some rooms to improve the, the scores for it. We just reached 4,500 megahertz on the DDR2, which is a Basically, a world record. We've just surpassed about four hundred <laughs> <laughs> So. Um we are sure that we're going to see some more news about that board in the, in the near future. So keep pushing it and stay tuned. 